So a new Call of Duty Warzone update just dropped, which is called Season 1 Reloaded. And we got a brand new update in Warzone Mobile as well. So there's still no sign of a global launch date. And based on this update, it looks like we still have a few months to wait. This update basically just brought in a ton of bug fixes and fixed a lot of issues in the game. But some players are getting worse frame rates now than what they had before. But basically, here's what we got in this update. We got custom game modes are back. There's still no Modern Warfare 3 movement added yet into the game, which a lot of players want because the Modern Warfare 2 movement feels sluggish and slow, and the brand new Warzone movement feels amazing and fast. High graphics is still quite unplayable, and you only get 30 FPS on a lot of devices. There's also a loadout bug in the Warzone game mode where you pick up your loadout and it basically glitches you out all over the map. Also, each game, your HUD randomly resets, which can be very, very annoying. But there are some good things as well. It's optimized on a lot more devices. More players are mentioning that they can actually play the game and run the game now. And they've also added some insane weapons and bundles, including the new A-Train and Firecracker skin from the series, The Boys. And they look insane, and the finishers are crazy good. Look at this right here. This is A-Train's finisher, which is pretty graphic, but all in all, it looks sick. You know, he uses his speed, he breaks their necks, and it looks sick. Overall, it's, you know, an okay-ish update, but players are still, you know, worried if Warzone Mobile will be ready to launch in spring this year. After the game being delayed twice last year, once in May and then November, we are hoping it is actually going to release and launch in spring. And by spring, that means anywhere between March and June this year. Now, the gameplay I've managed to capture is on my iPad Pro 2022, and it runs pretty well on the latest iPads, but hit a like and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Why are you stealing my kill, bro? Damn bot. Oh no, I'm actually dead. Holy shit. Getting lasered, boys. Wait, is this dude for real? <laughs> what? Got gas <laughs> There's no way that dude didn't see me, bro. There's a sniper. Idiot. Enemy dropping into the AO. What an idiot. And the Pulamar is just disgusting. Look how strong it is, bro. Oh my god, bro, don't run at me like that. You scared the hell out of me. You get a UV quick. Revive. One one requesting recon at this time. Copy that. UAV online and open the AO. Dead. One more guy over here. There's another guy. You got him, bro. Oh, 
All right, we're vibing, bro. Enemy dropping into the AO. Oh my god, the peel them up, man. Nah, I'm going for these. Easy. The Poolamot is so strong. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. I'm behind you, bro. There we go. GG. Let's go, baby. Oof. All right, GG, boys. There's the win. So, yeah, the Pula Mart and the Swarm is definitely going to be the best gun in this game. But hit a like, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this game. You know, let me know, uh, you know, how good the graphics look, how smooth it looks. When it's fully optimized, I think it's going to be absolutely insane. So... Let's hope that the uh, the devs can do some good work and actually optimize it. Um, yeah. Thank you boys for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.